Hey guys, I'm Triana Brown from SolidCore and this is Well and Good's Trainer of the Month Club. Today, I'll take you through SolidCore's upper body workout that you can do at home. All you need is some light weights. So, let's get started. Our first exercise will be a dual arm tricep kickback. I'm gonna grab my five pound weights. If you wanna go a little bit heavier than that, other than that, you wanna have a light weight. From here, you're gonna stand hip width distance apart, stagger your stance, puff your chest out, brace your abs, and then lift your elbows so they're nice and close to your ribs. Squeeze your tricep to extend at the elbow, and then slowly come back in to bring your hand in line with your elbow. From there, extend back out nice and slow. We have this stagger stance to make sure that we're not arching that low back. So if you can, you can be hip width distance apart as you're doing it, just make sure you're squeezing your abs the entire range of motion. Otherwise, I'd go back to that stagger stance. Stay nice and slow and make sure that your elbows are staying elevated rather than dropping down, because that's how you're gonna get the most tension in your tricep here. If you want a challenge, you can extend your arms out and hold it, maybe even add in a little pulse. If not, just stay slow that entire range of motion. We're only here for a minute and you got less than 10 seconds to go. Really try to stay in it. Good job team, we're done in three, two, one. Now we're gonna take it down for a single arm kickback. We're gonna lose one of our weights. You're gonna plant your hand straight down on the ground. Make sure you're in that tabletop position. Lift your elbow up and then squeeze that tricep again to extend straight at the elbow. This tabletop position is really gonna protect your lower back. Make sure your eye gaze stays straight down and that elbow stays really close to that rib cage here. We got this full range of motion here for a minute. We already got more than 20 seconds done. Nice job. Roll those shoulder blades back. Make sure they're away from your ears so you're not getting any tension in those shoulders or that delt. Nice job, team. Could stay super, super slow. Again, if you want more of that challenge, you can extend your arm back and hold it there, maybe even add in that pulse. I'm really starting to feel that burn. I'm sure you are too. You got less than 15 seconds until we swap out our arms. Nice work, everyone. Just keep squeezing those abs, really finding that tabletop position. Good work. You're done in three. Nice job. You got two, one. Let's swap out those arms. So now that working arm is gonna be your supportive arm. Find your tabletop position, lift your elbow up nice and high again, and then extend straight out from that elbow. Keeping that elbow knit right by your side, abs are staying braced, and making sure that you're stopping when your hand hits your elbow here. Right, our triceps, they're tiny muscles, that secondary pushed muscle, so it's not gonna take much for it to fatigue. It's probably only here, only here for a limited amount of time. I can still feel my other tricep that's supporting me right here. Good, again, you just got one minute here. We're halfway through. Keep breathing. Really try to push yourself to like stay in it till your arm is completely shaking so we know we're at that second stage of failure here. You got less than 20 seconds to crush this. Nice job, team. It's a smart choice to do this five pound weight because I'm dying. Good, let's keep going. Less than 10. Nice work. Get two more reps in that time. Good work, guys. You're done in three, two, one. Awesome. Now we're gonna move right on to a wide rear delt press. So I'm gonna grab my weights, I'm gonna stand up, hip width distance apart, roll my shoulder blades back. Extending at my elbow, so my arms are long, I push my hands straight back behind me, and then I'm gonna pause when my weights start to touch my butt. It's really important that you keep your hands behind your body here, right? So my hands aren't coming forward past my thighs, right, because I wanna keep my tension in my upper back. I'm also gonna feel tension in my lats here as well, but that extension at the elbow is gonna let those triceps also burn. Bend your knees, right, so you're in that strong power stance. Your shoulders are directly over your hips and your abs are super tight. That eye gaze just go straight forward. The wider you are, the more you're gonna feel tension in that upper back. So if that's your focus, that's what you wanna get out of it, widen that stance. Otherwise, you can keep your hands nice and near that entire time. Only here for a minute and you got 20 seconds to go. Good job, everyone. Keep it up, keep that breath still happening. Keep that oxygen in your body. Good team. We got our final 10 seconds. Awesome. Let's get two more really slow reps. You're done in three, 
two, one. Awesome. Now we're gonna move on to a bicep curl with a couple of variations. So you're gonna grab maybe a heavier weight here. I'm gonna go with those eight pound weights. I'm back in my strong power stance. From here, I'm gonna contract my bicep to bring my hands towards my shoulder. Then I'm gonna lower down so my hands comes towards my hips. Keep a micro bend at the bottom, right? So you're still keeping some tension in that bicep here. Make sure as you curl up, that your elbows stay stationary. Again, when we're focusing on our biceps and our triceps, it's just about the flexion and extension at the elbow. Your elbows have to stay stable to make Make that happen, that's how we fire up on those two secondary muscles. We're gonna add a little serve the platter variation to make this a little bit harder. So we're gonna do a full range curl, we're gonna come up to the top, we're gonna come down just halfway. Brace your abs, good from here. It's not like you're giving someone a platter, raise your hands so they come in line with your shoulders and then lower back down to that 90 degree angle, curl all the way up to the top and then extend right back down here. Good job, team. If you need a little support, you could always do a single arm, curling one arm up at one time and then other arm up. Nice job, we got less than five. You're done, team. Three, two, and one. There you go, guys. That's your upper body workout that you can do at home in just less than 10 minutes. Awesome job. This is a great upper body workout. Maybe you add it to a lower body workout or even after a run. Want more Training of the Month Club? Subscribe to Well and Good today.